Hello friends, welcome to a new year. I am going to talk to you today about all the goals that I have for this year, 2020. I, um, I'm not like a normal write down your goals, have a resolution kind of person. Um, I try to keep things pretty broad and vague because I don't want to stress myself out. And a lot of times I give up on things pretty easy. My oldest daughter actually kind of teases me about that. I start things and then don't really continue with them. Um, but this year I want to write down some goals and I want to be more specific because I think it might actually help me stick to it. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I'm going to break my goals down into three separate categories. My categories are going to be homeschool goals, personal goals, and goals that I have for this channel on YouTube. So homeschool goals. Oh gosh, guys, there could be so many. Um, but really, I just want to focus on two things for homeschool. In addition to what we're already doing, um, I want to incorporate for the rest of this semester more field trips. Um, we used to do a lot of things when my older kids were younger. I say that in a lot of different areas of life. You kind of get out of routines, right? Um, but we used to do a lot of field trips that we would go to museums or just like nature walks. Um, we even just like walked around our neighborhood a lot more. And I kind of got out of that. There's like a glare on my glasses here. Um, I kind of got out of that habit because I mean, who wants to see a group of like 12 kids walking through places? It's kind of overwhelming and I didn't want to keep track of them, but we're in a place now where some of my older kids could stay with my younger kids, like the toddlers that don't need to go. And I could head out and go do a field trip with my like elementary and junior high school kids. Um, or we could take everybody because now I have high schoolers that could help with the young ones. Anyway, I just feel like we're in a different season and I need to start being intentional to incorporate those things. So I would like to go um, probably twice a month, like every other Friday maybe, and have a planned field trip. Um, and the second goal would be that on the opposite Fridays, so every other Friday, that I would make sure that we do for the afternoon, we're gonna just do like more free, like art afternoons where we, I just have lots of supplies set out and people can paint or craft, um, or we could do a game day. So pick out games that are educational, but still fun. So lots of card games and dice games that incorporate math, um, maybe like geography, bingo, um, things that are still making them learn, but they are having fun with it. So those aren't like huge lofty, they'll seem very attainable, um, but I think they'll be really beneficial. So those are the two goals that I have for field trips or for homeschool. Okay, so for my personal goals, you gotta keep in mind, none of these are gonna be super specific and detailed like the homeschool ones. So my personal goals, um, number one is to read more. With all the kids um, I, and being pregnant and nursing for so many years, I was just tired. I would get to the evening and just fall asleep. <laughs> there wasn't any like, you know, once the kids go to bed, I'll sit down and do something. No, if I sat down, I was falling asleep. So now I'm in a season where I'm actually staying awake a little bit longer and I don't need as much sleep and I'm mostly because my sleep is not interrupted. And so I want to get back into the groove of reading more. I read a little bit more last year. I probably read 10 to 12 books over the course of 2019. And this year I want to read more, but, and so that's a really good goal for me. But the more important specific thing for this year is that I want to write down and keep track of the books that I read. And I'm not very good about that. So either just writing them down in my journal on paper so that I know what I've read or using the app Goodreads um, to be able to log what I've read um, so I can have a good way of keeping track of it. Okay, and then the second goal that I have for me personally is to lose weight, which I'm sure is on like every single person's list ever. Um, I don't know, maybe there are really fit people who haven't had a bunch of kids. Um, so for me, I did really good last year at the beginning of 2019 and um, I lost a bunch of weight. And then summer came and we got busy and we went on a trip and then at the end of summer school started and then holidays came. It's just one thing after another and I just stopped putting it as a primary focus and I gained back some of what I've lost, which is really whatever. Um, but I've been kind of, you know, up and down, up and down every time you have a baby. 
I have a baby. Every time I have a baby, you know, weight goes up and down. It's been like a roller coaster for the last 20 years. And I am in a place right now where I'm not having babies anymore and I'm not nursing. And so there's nothing that's going to be a major like interruption. So I can actually set this as a goal and try to keep it. Um, so my husband's kind of going along with me and we're just going to try and eat a lot cleaner and exercise more. So we're trying, he's mostly trying to go to the gym and um, I went with him like three times this week and kind of drug my feet. I don't really like it. So I'm hoping and praying that I can become more motivated in the exercise part because that's, I don't know, it's hard for me this time. I've done really good in the past and this time I have like zero motivation. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, and then the last thing that I have goals for is for this channel here on YouTube. Um, I kind of started this just as a hobby, thinking it would be a fun outlet for me, a way to connect in a, an environment with other moms because I like watching other moms on YouTube and it's fun to hear what their life is like and what their goals are like, especially when it's other moms that are in the same season of life as you. Other moms who have lots of kids and a household to manage and homeschool, it's just fun. So. I started this channel thinking that that would be a good community and I just, I really have loved it. So thank you for anybody who's watching and making this possible. Um, so my goal is to have this grow. I want to post consistently, probably two times a week, every week, and um, just, you know, see if I can get this channel to go from the like 300 subscribers I have now. I don't really want to put a number on my like what I want by the end of the year, but I don't know, doubling it would be amazing. So um, what I'm gonna do in order to try and get that to happen is I'm going to spend time like researching different filming and editing, lighting, um, what the analytics are like, how to use those, just research and actually treat it like it's, you know, something I want to learn. Like if you were gonna go and you wanted to know more about knitting, you wouldn't just start knitting with yarn and try and wing it. Like you'd actually have to research and learn how to read patterns and you know, get to know what you're doing. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna actually treat it like it's a hobby and I need to research and learn and grow and get better at it. So that's my goal. Okay, so those are the three areas that I want to improve on and goals that I have for this year. So, um. What about you? Do you guys have goals? Maybe down in the comments, you could write down what your goals are. Um, oh, I had one more thing. I know that it's kind of cheesy, but as people, I don't know, a lot of people choose like a word for their year. And I've done that before. It's kind of fun. It It's neat to have like one specific thing to focus on. Um, and so in addition to my goals for the year, I chose the word less. So my word for this year, just kind of means I want less. I want less stress. I want less weight. That was one of my goals, right? I want to own less. Like I want to go through, I love purging and getting rid of things. And I go through periodically and clean out. But this year I want to like majorly go through and clean out um, and just accumulate less. So less, that's my word for the year. So if you have a word for the year, also put that in the comments because it's really fun to see what people choose and what they're going to focus on. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching, friends. I hope you have a great day.